Hello and welcome back. It's another week. For those of you who are seeing me on the YouTubes, happy draft day to my Texas Fantasy League. I am wearing my Atlanta Falcons Roddy White jersey, vintage now at this point. If I could quickly already be tangential 30 seconds in, I was listening to an episode, you all know Mono Agapian, I was listening to an episode of his podcast, Drag Her, um, and his friend was talking about their, um, on the red carpet for a new show called Minx on HBO Max, highly encourage it, he is hilarious, Ozzy, um, the show is good, anyway, major tangent, all that to say, Ozzy was like, Oh yeah, I was wearing vintage Dolce and Gabbana 1992. Y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry. Is 1992 where we're calling vintage? Is that where does the line? <laughs> I mean, I was born in 1985, so I own that I am not a spring chicken, but like vintage already? 92 vintage? Come on, Ozzy. Anyway. Um, so this is a vintage 2011, which please tell me that's not vintage yet. But it is vintage because Roddy White no longer plays. So um, anyway, so those of you who are not on the YouTube watching the video, you're like, I don't care what you're wearing, Meg, because I can't see you. But those of you who are, that's why. Today is draft day for my fantasy league in Texas, and I could not be more excited. Football season is around the corner. Okay, those of you who don't care about football or any sort of organized sport, I'm done talking about sports. I wanted to check in. Hello, let you all know I'm going to take just the shortest, tiniest little break this week, possibly next. Uh, school just started this week. KU, go Jayhawks, rock chalk. Um, really excited. I'm teaching clinical practice one. So like the theories, the foundations, the modalities, what are you going to do? How are you going to talk to people? Really excited about it. Um so I'm just going to take a little bit of time and devote to that, making sure I've got all of everything. My syllabus obviously is already done, week one already done. But I just want to make sure I've got a little extra time for that. But I do have some people coming up on the schedule that I'm really excited about. We're going to talk about infertility. We're going to talk about um, nutrition, especially with the little ones, because I have questions. <laughs> ah, selfishly, I have questions. Um, I know you all have questions. Are we killing our children with macaroni and cheese? Oh, my kids won't even, well, my kid won't even eat macaroni and cheese anymore. That was like at one point after leave 10 was our fail safe was mac and cheese. He won't even eat that now. So I don't know. It really depends. My daughter is one day she won't eat anything with the boob. Next, she's not on a pork chop to the point that will literally make you gag. It is hard to watch. She is a vulture. Well, anyway. Um, so questions about that fertility looking, I have reached out, have not confirmed yet, but very excited. Would like to talk to a sex therapist. Like, what do we do? How do we get back in the mood? How do we get our bodies back into a space where we feel that level of sexuality that we felt before? Some of you, that's not a problem. Some of you, it's a big problem. Some of you, it's everywhere in between. So I'm really looking to have somebody come on and, and really discuss that as well. Um, so lots of stuff in the hopper, a lot of stuff coming up ahead. Just want to take a quick, tiny little break. Um, and uh, yeah, and to make sure that we get that done. So um, get all the school stuff ready and be the best little adjunct professor that I can be. Um, I did also, while I've got you for another quick second, for those of you who are interested, uh, this is going to sound tangential, but I promise it's not. This is not, although it is another HBO Max comment, um, but this is not Ozzy's 1992 Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, for those of you who are were Throne Games fans, if you are watching the new House of Dragon, it is good. It is rough. Trigger wo -oh 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 warning. Wish I'd have known. Wish, y'all, wish I'd have known. And I am, uh, you know, y'all call people snowflakes. Not y'all, because you listen to my podcast, so you're not calling people snowflakes. But people are out there calling people snowflake. Trigger warning. Oh, nah, nah, nah. No, it's important. Sometimes you just need to know what's coming ahead. It's helpful. To be like, you know, I'm not, that's not where my energy is today. It's not. So I'm going to tell y'all, not much of a spoiler. Mm, there's a spoiler. A little bit of a spoiler in regards to this part of the plot line. So if you are dying to not have any spoilers, I will probably, I will stop talking after this. Um, be curious, not judgmental. Make it a good one. Y'all have a good day. Those of you who are needing to know because you have some sort of pregnancy traumas that you need to not be upset about and you would like to know ahead of times, so please continue listening. So, pregnancy, loss, trauma, 
lots of gore related to the pregnancy. If you haven't have an emergency C-section, if you have any sort of C-section that was unplanned, you're looking at one right here. Um, just like get yourself in a space to be prepared for that as much as you can. Um, have people available to talk to afterwards if you need. Turn away and just listen to what's going on. Skip that section and you can call, call me. I'll tell you what happened. Um, it was rough to watch last night. I will be very honest. I was, I was deeply emotional about it. My boobs started hurting. I felt physically nauseated, not just because of the gore, but just what was happening. Um, so yeah, that's, I just wanted to say that I wish I did want to say, I wish I would have said this before I told people to stop listening, but oh, well. Um, so let me pull it up on my phone real quick. My girlfriend sent me because people were upset about it. Um, Sapochnik added that the scene showcases the lack of choice. Well, again, this is a massive, massive spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen it yet and you're like, don't tell me, Meg. Um, but this is important. To I, I like the rationale why. I'm not mad that it happened. I'm just saying like a trigger warning would have been nice. Uh, lack of choice by Emma, which is really important to both the series and the modern era since the overturn of Roe v. Wade. I'm reading this from my phone, by the way. Um, we shouldn't be shying away from this thing that's happened because it's raising a point that seems to hit a real trigger for women, which is the idea of choice, he said. Again, spoiler alert. She doesn't get to choose. She's effectively murdered by her husband. And that is a good indication of the state of play in this world that we're inhabiting. Sapochnik continued the comparison by juxtaposing the birthing scene with a literal fight on the battlefield. As we stated earlier in the episode, the birthing bed is almost a battlefield. You have 50% chance of survival. And so it seemed like this was an appropriate time to draw that parallel visually between the male and the female struggle. One's fighting on the battlefield, the other's fighting for survival, for survival, sometimes from the person closest to her. So I guess originally it was supposed to be less gory, less upsetting. And I, I guess the female producers were like, look, if you're going to do this, like, if you're going to talk about it, let's really talk about it. So it's powerful. It's important. It's a, I mean, obviously it's a fake situation, but let's also know that stuff like this did happen. So that is a long ramble for a trigger warning, um, lots of spoilers. So I warned you before, if you're mad, if you made it to this point, I told you to turn it off. If you're mad at me, don't DM me. Um, if you want to talk about it more, DM me, we'll talk about it. Cause I, well, we just watched some Shit's Creek afterward and it kind of palate, palate cleansed for me, but yeah. So, um, wanted to let you know, I'm taking a couple of weeks, maybe one week, maybe two off. We'll be back, um, for sure in September. Um, and give you that trigger warning that I wish I would have had just to like emotionally prepare for it. I think I still would have watched it or I might have maybe left the room just for that and had my husband just recount it to me um if you need me to recount it for you and you want to fast forward but you just want to get into it like we're going to keep watching the series because we have to because we're in we're this far in so um I will happily take a call with you and we'll talk about it so anyway enough of that I just really if that was important to me to have that trigger warning up there for everybody I, I understand and appreciate where they were coming from I'm not mad that they did it it's good information for us to have and also so everybody, walk through your days, recognize the times that you're being judgmental. Take that opportunity to be curious instead. Really think even positive judgments, like somebody tells you they're going out of town and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Oh, I'm going for a funeral. Well, then you're having an awkward conversation, right? Which of course, obviously, hopefully they'll give you some grace in that, but right, that's a judgment there. So be curious, not judgmental. I'll see y'all soon.